In this video, we are going to discuss the most important and critical steps of HACCP, step 6 and step 7 that are also known as HACCP principle number 1 and principle number 2. Principle number 1 is conduct the hazard analysis and principle number 2 is identify the critical control points. We will understand the difference between hazard analysis and risk assessment through one real life example and also see the forms and formats that could be used to comply with HACCP principle number 1 and principle number 2. It is highly recommended to watch the video 12 steps of HACCP part 1 where we have defined the 5 initial steps of HACCP. This video is in link with that video. Before moving on, it is also requested you to please subscribe to our channel QA Learning Hub and do like, share and comment. HACCP is a systematic preventive approach towards food safety and applicable to a complete food chain from farm to fork. It addresses hazards as a mean of prevention rather than a final product inspection. HACCP ensures food safety and it has 12 steps including 7 principles. The problem is how do we develop HACCP system in our industry? We have already completed the initial 5 steps in our previous video. The next 2 steps are called principle number 1 and 2 of HACCP. And these 2 steps are the most technical and somehow difficult steps of HACCP. Let's take an example of these 2 principles through one real time example. To understand the difference between hazard analysis and risk assessment that is principle number 1 and principle number 2. You have to catch a flight and your objective is to reach airport at 5 pm. What problems and hurdles come in between to meet this objective? For example, road construction can stop you to reach airport in time, bad weather condition, petrol or any other issue caused with car, traffic jam, any protest can block the roads and cause you in problem to reach airport. These are all the potential problems. As the objective was to reach airport at 5 and we identified the problems. Similarly, in HACCP, objective is to produce a safe food. In HACCP, we need to analyze the problems in food. In HACCP, we call the problems in food as hazards. In HACCP, we have to analyze each process of food manufacturing against hazards. Let's understand how to analyze hazards here. In step 1 of HACCP, we have in step 4 of HACCP, we have constructed a process flow diagram. Take each process and then analyze against potential hazards and list, for example, peeling process. Hazards are mainly of three types. So analyze that what type of physical, chemical and microbiological. Hazards have the potential to contaminate our potatoes here in peeling process. It could be through environmental condition, pest issues, hygiene issues, infrastructure issues, etc. This kind of document you can make to analyze hazards in one process. Same thing you need to do with all processes. This is the example of hazard analysis in HACCP, that is to identify all potential hazards. Let's compare. In example of airport where the objective was to reach airport on time, we have listed potential issues. Same in potato chips manufacturing process where the objective was to produce a safe food under HACCP principle 1. We have listed all the potential hazards just in one process, that is peeling process. Now, next task is to identify the most important problem based on facts and figure. Here, you need to collect the data from different means. Example, you can see the Google map to get informed about the traffic, newspaper about the law and order situation, or any call of the protest. Check the weather prediction, check the car's petrol tank, and etc. Once you collect all these information, then you will come to know the most important problem and able to take the measures accordingly. In a compliance of HACCP in a food industry, in principle number one, 
we made a list of all potential hazards in a peeling process and in principle number two now we have to assess in technical terms that what is real impact of each hazard in that particular pro process considering the risk that includes different factors example trend of customer complaints non-conforming products withdrawal and recall level of gmp compliance food safety culture etc this kind of document could be prepared for risk assessment of a single process you need to work on each process being involved in the man manufacturing of the pro product according to the process flow for identifying the se uh, severity and likelihood of the hazard you can develop the scale on your own like this but it should be properly justified hope it gives you some clarification about the hazard principle 1 and principle 2 thanks for watching